Hello, we have already dealt with the symptoms of heart failure in another video, but today I want to discuss something called the Framingham criteria. And this is a modified Framingham criteria where we have the symptoms and based on the symptoms of heart failure, we can diagnose heart failure by dividing the symptoms into two main groups. We have the major symptoms, which are the most important, and we have minor symptoms, which are also important, but not so important. Therefore, if we want to diagnose uh, heart failure, we need to have two major symptoms or only one major with two minor ones. So two majors or one major with two minors. That is the modified Framingham criteria to diagnose heart failure based on symptoms of these two groups of symptoms. And which are the two groups? The major ones are, for example, the patient comes in and complains about nocturnal dyspnea. This is called paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, which means that he is having problems with the breathing in the night. And this just appears in the night. Nocturnal means the night. And also he, he is complaining of when he's lying down in a bed, he is having problems with breathing. So it comes in the night and it comes when he's lying down in the bed. Also, when we examine the patient, we go there and we auscultate, for example, the heart. We hear third, third heart sounds, gallop rhythm sounds like a horse it's galloping when you listen to the heart or we when we auscultate with a stethoscope the lungs we hear pulmonary rails or when we check the venous pressure here in the jugular veins we see an elevated jugular venous pressure these are the three things that we can immediately look at the, uh, when we look at the patient elevated jugular venous pressure we auscultate the lungs we hear pulmonary rays and we auscultate the heart we hear third heart sounds the patient's anamnesis as we said is when we ask him what kind of symptoms do we have he has problems with breathing in the night so paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea or he is having problems with breathing when he's lying down these are the two things that you take from anamnesis. Three things that you take from uh, physical examination, as we said, elevated jugular venous pressure, pulmonary rails, and third heart sounds. Then we go on and we make a chest x-ray. And in the chest x-ray, we will see that the heart is enlarged. That is called cardiomegaly. Or we can see that we have lung edema, so pulmonary edema on chest x-ray. So these are the th two things that we will see in, on the chest x-ray. Good. And the, the, the last thing that we can uh, see, uh, ask is, did the patient lose any weight? So if he lost more than 4.5 or more than 5 kilo, kilogram in, in less than 5 days, by, for example, by a treatment against heart failure. So, for example, if we suspect that the patient has heart failure and we start to treat the uh, the heart failure with some medications against it and we see that the patient drop more than 4.5 kilograms in five days then it's also a major sign in this Framingham criteria so let's recap the fr uh, Framingham criteria of the major ones we have eight eight things two things that you get from the anamnesis autopnea by lying down which means that this uh, he has probably problem with breathing lying down, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, problems in the night, so you have uh, difficulty breathing in the night, these are two things. Then comes three physical examinations, we have pulmonary rails, we have third heart sound, so gallop rhythm, and we have elevated jugular venous pressure, these are the three things. Then we get chest x-ray, two things, we have cardiomegaly, which incre increased the uh, heart, and pulmonary edema. And then the last thing, the eighth criteria, is that we lost more than 4.5 kilograms in five days. Good. Let's look at the minor ones. The minor ones are also, for example, something happens in the night. Not difficulty breathing, so not nocturnal, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, but instead cough. Cough in the night. That's a minor one. That's, that's not so severe as having dyspnea in the night. Also, we can have uh, something called bilateral leg edema. So both your legs are swelled 
it's a lot of fluid in the, both of your legs. This is also a typical sign of heart failure, but it's a minor criteria in this Framingham criteria. We, ha we have dyspnea on ordinary exertion. As you see, in the major one, we had paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, that is meaning dyspnea in the night. Here we have dyspnea by regular exercise or regular movement. Okay, that's a minor criteria. Then we have instead of cardiomegaly, which was an increased heart, we have here an increased liver in minor criteria, increased liver. The other one is tachycardia. Tachycardia means that we have uh, a pulse more than 100, but in this case it's more, more like more than 120 beats per minute. Okay, so, so remember more than 120 beats per minute is tachycardia and this is a minor sign. So let's recap. We need two major ones or we need one major and two minors. The two majors uh, should be from the list of major ones which were eight criteria. We had paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, we had then uh, this uh, uh, orthopnea which means that the problem with breathing by lying down, elevated jugular venous pressure, pulmonary rails when we auscultate, ho third heart sounds or cardiomegaly on chest x-ray or pulmonary edema on chest x-ray or he has lost more than 4.5 kilograms in five days. The minor criteria, so if we have two of these, then we have a diagnosis of heart failure. Or if we have one of these together with these minor criteria that we said, bilateral leg edema, cough during night, dyspnea on regular exertion, hepatomegaly, which is an increased liver, or tachycardia, which is a beat of more than 120 beats per minute. Good. I think I uh, re repeated it enough so you need to so you can remember it. So I thank you very much for listening and I see you next time.